In a previously unseen image, the pair appear side by side at the Monarch's Scottish retreat where Prince Andrew reportedly hosted the multi-millionaire in 1999. Prosecutors presented a series of photos linking Ms. Maxwell to the American financier and convicted pedophile as evidence of their close relationship. Ms. Maxwell is accused of grooming underage girls for abuse between 1994 and 2004. She has pleaded not guilty to sex trafficking and seven other charges. Her lawyers argue that she is being scapegoated for Epstein's crimes. In the Balmoral photo, Ms. Maxwell cozies up to Epstein at a log cabin in Glenbeg in the same spot where the Queen has previously been pictured. The FBI seized digital evidence from Epstein's Manhattan home in a raid in 2019 which was shown to jurors on Tuesday. Several photographs show Ms. Maxwell and Epstein together embracing or in close contact with each other as well as pictures of two of Ms. Maxwell's accusers in states of undress. One image shows Ms. Maxwell appearing to give Epstein a foot massage on board a jet while another reveals a portrait of her hung on a wall in a bathroom at his Florida home. Another sees her kissing Epstein on. Jurors also heard on Tuesday a readout of a document found in a hard drive at Epstein's home describing the pair as rarely apart. Its unidentified author wrote, Jeffrey and Ghislaine share many mutual interests and they have a lot of fun together. On top of being partners they are also best of friends. A woman named Carolyn alleged at Tuesday's hearing that she she had multiple sexual encounters with Epstein from the age of 14 until 18. She was introduced to the pair by Virginia Roberts, whose surname is now Jeffrey, who is one of Epstein's accusers. Carolyn is named in the indictment as minor victim for the witness told the court she dropped out of school after seventh grade and needed money. Upon their first visit to Epstein's Florida home, both girls say they took part in a massage which ended with Ms. Roberts having sex with their host while Carolyn allegedly watched. She claimed Ms. Maxwell paid her $300 and took her phone number, before going on to say she had a great body for Epstein and his friends. Carolyn said in court that she went back to the home more than 100 times, sometimes three times a week. She added, something sexual happened every single time. Jurors heard Ms. Maxwell would often welcome her or provide an update as to where Epstein was. Carolyn called her Maxwell because she could not pronounce her first name. She said Ms. Maxwell would pay her each time, with more given when she took friends with her. The witness added both adults knew she was very young, recalling an invitation to visit Epstein's private island when she was 14. She said she refused because she had no passport and her mother would not let her go. Carolyn said she had a child by the age of 18 and returned to Epstein again when he asked if she had any younger friends, to which she replied no. She continued, that's when I realized I was too old. The full indictment against Ms. Maxwell lists six charges, conspiracy to entice minors to travel to engage in illegal sex acts, enticement of a minor to travel to engage in illegal sex acts, conspiracy to transport minors with intent to engage in criminal sexual activity, transporting a minor with intent to engage in criminal sexual activity, sex trafficking conspiracy, and sex trafficking of a minor. Ms. Maxwell is also alleged to have lied under oath by hiding her participation in Epstein's offenses during a separate civil case. Epstein was found dead in his cell at a federal jail in Manhattan in August 2019 while he awaited trial on sex trafficking charges. The death was ruled a suicide. Ms. Maxwell has been held in a U.S. jail since her arrest in July last year. She denies all charges. The trial continues.